Original Sin is the current big uh, Marvel comic book event that's happening this summer. It's still ongoing at the moment and uh, this is issue one. Now you may remember I did review issue zero by Mark Wade a few videos ago um, but I wanted to talk about um, issue one. I'm going to be reviewing all the issues um, in individually. The whole series, um, the main series that is, is written by Jason Aaron. He's doing Thor God of Thunder at the moment. He's a fantastic writer, not just his superhero stuff but other stuff is written like um, Scalped and other sort of independent uh, creator own books he's done. A great, he's a great writer, um, but I do love his, his superhero stuff as well. Now, this is issue one, but it's the Scotty Young variant, as you can see there. Who doesn't love a little bit of Scotty Young? The art is by a guy called, and I was a little bit sort of unsure how to pronounce his name, um, Mike. D Diodato, Diodato, Diodato. I probably just butchered it, but he does the art um, for this book. It starts with the Watcher, who is a character that Marvel readers may be familiar with already. But he is um, a character who lives on the moon. He basically watches all the big important events that take place uh, throughout the universe. Well, he's murdered at the beginning of this issue, and the whole overarching plot of the series is going to be who murdered the Watcher. So after that scene, we're then greeted to a scene, as you can see, I, I, I really do like the artwork in this, it's very sort of dark and, and naturalistic, but it's got a bit of a cinematic quality to it. Um, we're then treated to a scene with uh, Wolverine, Black Widow, Nick Fury and Steve Rogers uh, sat having, um, well, dinner, uh, or, or we call it in England tea, um, at, this, uh, at this sort of uh, bar and grill by the looks of it, and they're talking about the best steak um, that they've ever eaten. This scene for me is indicative of what a good writer Jason Aaron is, because he takes these characters who are now icons, you know, these characters are near enough gods in modern pop culture and humanises them and gives us a very naturalistic conversation that these people have and I really appreciated that um, so that's probably the standout moment of this issue for me. Um, so then they are there sort of, um, the event contacted by Thor who is on the moon and has discovered the Watcher's body as you can see here and um, his eyes are missing. Now his eyes basically contain all the, the secrets of the universe and um, so you know we don't want those getting into the wrong hands obviously. Now, I'm not going to show you sort of too much because I wouldn't want to spoil the whole issue for you. Uh, but while this is going on, while Captain America, Wolverine, Black Widow, Nick Fiorino you know, is starting a sort of task force to follow up leads and try and track down and find out who murdered the Watcher, uh, the Black Panther, Emma Frost and uh, Scott Lang, or Ant-Man, uh, contacted by a sort of shadowy figure, stranger, to um, to follow up more leads elsewhere. And we don't really know who it is who's hired them or why, uh, but they are hired, as you can see, there's, there's Ant-Man, to um, follow up more leads, uh, along with, and um, these two were hired by the same shadowy figure, Frank Castle and Stephen Strange, who sort of start tracking down or following up the interdimensional leads in this. Um, so you treated to, as far as the um, the artwork goes, you treated to some sort of different panelling here and there. Here's a, a big action scene with a mindless one, as you can see, who uh, the mindless ones have now become sentient for an unknown reason. But you are also treated to some um, sort of whimsical artwork in the aspects with the Punisher and uh, Doctor Strange sort of later on in the issues. Uh, so the book as a whole, you know, the artwork does vary in style and I, I do quite like that, you know, it's, it keeps it fresh from page to page. I mean, like I say, the artwork itself is quite dark but it is quite impressive as well as you can see there is an explosion at the beginning. So basically issue one is tasked with um, laying not only the groundwork of the plot so you have these different groups of heroes to try and find out who killed the Watcher and so it's laying out the plot, laying out the characters that are involved but also the tone of the series. I just hope because they introduce quite a lot of different characters who are going to be directly involved in this main series I hope that they're all given their moment to shine but overall I thought that issue one you know was a, a perfectly good beginning to a Marvel event it's issue one of eight, or well, technically nine, because if you count issue zero, which Mark Wade wrote, which to be honest, I still think issue zero is the strongest of the series so far, and that wasn't written by Jason Aaron, unfortunately. Um, but issue one is a pretty good read, and I would um, recommend it. It's a very intriguing, intriguing start to what could be a very intriguing series for Marvel.